Welcome back again, everybody. Um, we got some more Brian Laundry, Gabby Petito weirdness happening here. Uh, it's uh, Halloween. What else would you expect? Hey, listen, before we go on, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'm so close to my next milestone, and this is awesome. You guys don't do not understand how much you've helped me. It's like outside of all this stuff, you know how like your your friends, your family, whatever, and uh, you know, you kind of get like, kind of like a competition, I guess, with your buddies and stuff. They don't believe that, you know you can do something. You guys are totally, totally, totally helping me out. I love it. Thank you so much. Um, anyway, uh, so the police called. We're called to laundry home. Oh, there goes my microphone. Sorry, I was in the process of uh, moving this around. Everything right now has been disassembled again. I'll get it all reassembled one day. Ah. So, um, Gabby Petito missing uh, Northport, Florida. Police were called to the laundry home twice on the day before Gabby Petito's parents reported her missing, according to Northport Police Department, obtained by department records obtained by ABC News. Uh, she was reported missing in New York. Okay. Now, remember, we got this new deal where she was already they were moved out of the house of the Florida. They had moved up and set up residency in New York. They're New York residents. There is no reason for them to be in Florida, according to all uh, normalcy. So, let's see. The records show two public service calls for the home on September 10th. Both were marked as problem settled. So, that's just the, the cop goes by. They don't see anything. They don't hear anything. Um... They could make contact with the uh, people living there, uh, and there's not, it's, there's nothing. It's not a police matter, okay? Uh, so they say, you know, problem settled. Uh, the records also show the police were called to the laundry home three times on September 11th, the day she was reported missing. So they already been two times the day before, then three times the day of. The first two were follow-up calls, marked respectively as problem settled, and no police action needed. The third was an agency assist call, and a report was submitted afterwards. The record show uh, agency assist. I'm guessing that was the uh, New York, uh, Suffolk County, New York police, asking Northport police for their help. The records have been partially redacted and show no further details of the call to service. Though police said they were not now on one calls. ABC News also obtained a photo that may show Brown Laundry at campground over Labor Day weekend. Days before Patil was reported missing. Yeah, I think we had that for a while there. Um, all right, and that's it. That's a short one. All right, but here's the thing though. So there are calls, there are two calls the day before she reported missing to the police, three the day of. So again, we're still trying to figure out now is, do we know definite that the parents of her contacted the parents of him? Was there ever a conversation there? What happened? And what we know is, I mean, the rumor is that I read like on Reddit and stuff is that his parents were getting a divorce and they were like down there. They wanted to get out. They were living at uh, their the parents' condo. Uh, then they went to New York. They came with this idea. Oh, there's a guy that posted said he used to work with Brian at the Publix. And said he sold his Mustang to his mom. Uh, and then use that money to buy the van that was quote unquote Gabby's. Um, the whole thing is messed up. Like, you know, whose names things in, whatnot. I don't think that has anything to do with the relationship here because uh, they weren't married. So it's not a dual name. I don't know why one was putting the, their name in another. Who knows? Uh, maybe she already had uh, her stuff or kept her stuff in New York and it's just easier that way. Oh, no, they said the van was uh, had Ford attacked. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> no idea. Uh, but all I know is that this guy said that he worked with Brian. And that Brian, like, every day, would uh, he drove that van to and from work uh, while they were saving up to do this trip. So, anyway, uh, yeah, that's weird, right? So, the police, I mean, came from New York. Nobody knew anything until the 11th, supposedly. They made these these contacts with them. I don't know what the type of contact was. Problem settled. So weird, right? Anyway, tell me what y'all think. Put it in the uh, uh, comments. 
Uh, love you guys. Uh, have a good, safe, I don't know, everything. Be good and safe at it. All right. <laughs> Please subscribe and uh, look for some uh, new content. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do uh, Alec Baldwin. This one is, uh, this is another weird one. Uh, why in a rehearsal did he pull a trigger? Right? I don't know. We might go over that. So, anyway, y'all, till next time. Be good or be good at it. Hey, thanks for watching, and please go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button. Appreciate it.